What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Coach Steve Show podcast. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. Follow it and rate it. Leave a review on Apple or iTunes. It's greatly appreciated. Um, thanks to anybody who's ever watched or listened. Um, if you want to be on the podcast, shoot me a message at Coach underscore Steve72 on Twitter, and we will get it set up. Today, we are going to talk about the smash passing concept. Uh, people can call this corner which we'll talk about in air raid terms. It's called corner. It can be called snag. But um, this is a smash passing play concept run by everybody. Um, for the most part, now there's different variations. And again, people call things differently. So we're going to discuss the smash play concept. We'll try to do it out of two by two and three by one. And you can even do it out of two by two and everything else. But let's talk about the basics of the smash passing play concept. So we'll all we'll go out traditional, you know, us offensive guys have to go out of two by two. So if we go spread right here, two by two, X and H on the left side, Y and Z on the opposite side. So a smash concept, you are it's a two high beater. Um, you are trying to put them in conflict, that safety in that corner in conflict, um to try to see what they're doing. So traditionally, smash concept, your outside guy is running a hitch route and depends how deep you want it. You know, you can go three or five yards. Your inside receiver is running anywhere from a seven, eight or so corner concept. Um, we'll get that here. So it's a little high, low game. And so what you want the guys to do is you want them to read um, the their safety or the in the corner. If the corner flies back, um, then you know to throw the hitch. If the corner is flying down, and the safety flies over the top, well, it's not going to be open. But if he's sitting there because of a cover two, he's supposed to be covering this. But if he's sitting there and you could throw it over the top, perfect. So this is the traditional smash concept to the read side. Now, what you want to do on the back side is completely up to you. Usually you want, you know, cover one and, co you know, one high, two high beaters. So on this back side, um, you can run smash the same side. You can run, you know, if you want to occupy that safety. Um, you could run a post on the backside. So what you can call this, whatever you want. He could run a post. He could run another hitch or whatever. So it's putting the corners in conflict, the safety in conflict. You could run a vertical on the backside um, while they run a post on the inside. Doesn't matter. But this right here is the traditional smash concept. Now, in air raid terms, this, you know, some could call this corner. Now, in air raid terms, we did a video on it, but just to um, real quick, talk about the corner concept we won't go through it deeply check out the other video they run a sit route now to some people this can be called snag to some people this is their smash because you're still getting that sit route like a hitch route with the corner going um run about seven eight yards as the corner other people that run a you know a different way of running snag they might run an in because they feel like they're still getting this um, high low game with the corner and some type of intermediate route on the inside. Um, so traditionally it's a hitch corner, but then they can run anything. I've I, me personally, I've also seen where you have the guys run a corner. This guy runs like a whip route and he, you know, kind of like this out in I've seen where you could have this guy run like a deeper snag i've seen where they're going where i've this guy has ran a shallow and to some people that's still a you know a smash concept but to me you need to run the sit route the hitch route or have a corner route to be a traditional sna uh, smash concept this it can work into your um passing game with a cover two beater then on the back side, you probably want to build build in something for a cover, you know, cover, you know, one high beater, so a cover three beater, um, a man beater, something else. So you can do double slants on the back side. <clears throat> you can do hitches on the back side, but the traditional smash to me has always been that corner and that hitch route combined. Another way you can run the smash concept is still have your inside receiver um, running a corner. So they still he's still running his corner. You could have the guy run here and flip back inside like a whip. So he's running, faking it out, and then running back in like that little 
um, wheel type of, not a wheel route, but a circus route. Um, other guys I have also seen where they completely run a speed out. To them, this is a smash concept because it's still a high-low game in the smash concept because the corner matters in this. You're still putting um, the corners and the safeties in a bind. Does the corner sit on this or do he, does he fly back? Is he undisciplined? Um, does he fly all the way back? And then if you really want to go traditional, um, smash other guys to help even influence um, these linebackers that sit here at the safety or the corner is they'll have their running back run a shoot route or a swing route to influence as that corner come flying up and open up this hitch. But then you're starting to have your quarterback read too many guys. Do you want them just to read the safety? Do you want to read the corner? Do you want this window where they're reading both? But the smash concept can be run with the wheel route, can be run here. Um, so this is still considered when you run all those, still has the smash concepts and this passing concept. Now, the smash out of the three by one changes just a little bit, but not too much. We're going to talk about what I've done and what I've seen other people do. So if it's trips left, okay, you you have a decision to make. Do you want your, your one receiver and your three receiver to run the smash because it gives more room for the corner and the hitch? Do you want your X and your H if they're on the trip side to run the smash concept and then somebody else run another thing? Do you want the X and the Y to run the, the smash concept and the X run something different? That is up to you. It all involves spacing. So I have had it where the X runs the hitch. Your H is running the corner. Now the Y can do one of two things, actually really three things. But the first one I ever did was a vertical because it puts really to me, if it's a, a trips and they're running some type of cover two, well, that may not be what they checked to. They're going to check to man or they're going to check to a cover three. So you're still putting people in a bind. Um, this Is this hitch going to be open because the corner's got to get back on this? Cor uh, the corner has to get back on the corner out. Does the linebacker that sits out here flies out and gets there in time? Does this um, free safety try to get over to this vertical or is he getting over here? And then what you could have your Y do is run that vertical but if he sees the free safeties come over the top, that corner builds back, and he sees this open grass, he can convert it more into a dig route off the smash concept and sit here and wait. Or instead of having him run a vertical or that um, dig route, you could also have him just run a skinny post. It all depends on where this free safety is. If he's way over the top, he can run that. So the re can still just be where that safety and core or safety um, the free safety or the strong safety in that corner is, that's where the read would be. And then on your backside, you can kind of have them do whatever you want. If it's, you know, you could have them run an outside vertical to occupy that corner. You could have him also run a dig. You could have this person just run a nice sit route on the backside. Something to occupy those um, corners and linebackers out there. So out of trips, this could be a still, still be a simple way to run the smash um, concept in your passing game. And you can still run the smash concept out of a pro set with your tight end on the line of scrimmage. So right now, if this was a pro right X and H are on the left, Y is on the right on the line of scrimmage with the lineman and Z's out off the line of scrimmage, can still run the smash concept there. Nothing changes, still running the sitch. Now for your Y, it's a little different. If he has a five technique on his inside, he's got to, he's got to release outside a little bit and then get to that corner. If the guy is head up of him, you however you watch film and make that decision, do you want him to run out more, convert it more into like an out up dig or a corner type route? If the guy's on his outside, like a seven technique, you would have him break into the inside and run that corner. Now they're not as close to each other when you decide to do this. But you can still do this. And then to help out with what's going on, people will still have their running back run that swing route. And on the backside, because they are they could still run a two high out of this, they could run a one high out of this. Um, on the backside, you can run a post. Or you can have this guy run a, um, a dig route on this backside with your H and then run a post behind it to occupy linebackers and where they're going to go, occupy the corner out here or the safety up top, where they're going to go and read 
you know, the hitch to the corner back over here. These are what you could do on this side, but mainly focusing on the pass, um, <clears throat> the pass strong side concept of the smash route, however you want on the backside, but it's a play that could still be run even with a hand down tight end um, on the line of scrimmage. And that is the simplest way that I know of to run smash your different ways, the hitch route with the corner, a dig route with a corner. You can run a sit route, which air raid um, terminology calls corner. You could have them run an out. You could have them run anything that gets the high low of the corner and something happening underneath. You could run an out back in like a whip route. You can run the circus route back in anything you want, a normal slant, anything at all. Um, you can run it out of three by one and get a nice vertical game to screw around with the corners or the safeties and really put those guys in a bind. Um, we'll talk about a different pass concept later that Smash is really good with. We just didn't want to talk about it today because um, it's a great concept. And, uh, and I was taught and shown how to do this from a great coach out there that was on the podcast. So that's the simplest way to run Smash in the simple offensive segment. Hopefully a youth coach or brand new coach got something out of it or saw some different way to run a pass concept. So um, thank you guys for watching and you're listening. Like and subscribe. Um, follow and rate it on Apple and iTunes. If you want to be on the podcast, shoot me a message at coach underscore Steve72. To be on the podcast, we'll set it up. Um, check out all the other simple offensive segments. Check out the simple defensive segment. Check out the summer football stuff, other stuff. There's just so much going on in this podcast. Go check it all out. Um, thank you guys for watching and or listening. This is Coach Steve, and we will see you next time.